How's it going? Hope you guys uh, had fun walking out there with me and the dogs. Okay, so uh, Canada's locked down its borders. We're doing this, we're doing that. Blah, 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 blah. I haven't heard anyone talk about this aspect of it because it really, I guess it really only matters um, across the prairies and parts of Ontario where it's cold. So we're in Canada, we have what, where I am anyways, we call them snowbirds, right? These are the people that uh, are gone for the winter months. So if you have winter in Canada, if you part have winter, then there's people around you who are older people. Usually they go to America. They go to Florida, Arizona, stuff like that. A lot of Canadians go to Phoenix. And here we have cottages, right? And uh, apartments that they call condos because they rent them out when they're gone. But they're just apartments, right? And then they come back, spend the summer here, and then they're gone, right? Well, I don't know what happens to them? To just get to come back to and to what? Go self-quarantine in their empty house? Their empty apartment with no food or nothing? They're going to go shopping? Um, well, my old lady said that uh, some people they work with, she works with, they canceled their trip to Mexico. A couple weeks ago they canceled it and said, nah, we're not going. I guess uh, apparently the wife was pissed, but they didn't go. And they had some friends that went to Mexico still, and they just just come back, and they're supposed to self-isolate, you know, the da da and she said, uh, buddy caught him sh out shopping in another town, eh? And he got mad and went off on him. <laughs> the devil is in the details here, right? So what happens? You're gone. Even if you went away for just as, as the, only the two of you. So you went away for a couple of weeks. Well, you didn't have your house full of groceries and stuff. So the, what if they have it? Right? What if they did have it? And then, so they went out and shopping, and touched everything. And for everyone that went in that store, if that's how it goes, if that all that stuff was real, <laughs> so where's the government provisions for things like that? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if that's a, if it's a real threat, then the border should just be closed. Like there's Canadians around the world and, and in southern uh, South America and Central America, those countries look at Guatemala, you're locked in, locked out and locked in. You're not going anywhere, man. That's how it should be. It's looking more and more like it's going to be that in America. And then up here in Canada, it's going to be the walking dead. <laughs> that's the things right i guess that's not really a thing in bc because it's warm there and, and probably uh southern parts of ontario and in the roxham road area well, it gets winter there but nothing like where it does here and it's cottages so uh, i guess that i didn't really ever have thought about that i'm just as guilty too so where i live uh it's probably going to go up the warmer it gets, the, they're going to come here. I thought they had a deadline to get back to Canada. That's not going to matter when they're coming from America? Because why? <sighs> and all around the Great Lakes in Ontario? Thousand Islands? All, all that area where people come back for the summertime. And where... Um, James Nationalist is from out that way too. A lot of people from down south will be coming back to their cottages. Well, that puts a whole new spin on this, man. <sighs> Whatever, that's not where I am. I don't go to town. I don't healthy as fuck. Eating la. Uh, Natural meat, like wild game, does lots for your immune system, man. That doesn't mean I'm going to be safe from this, but probably a lot. My chances be lots better off than, than many people. I don't smoke cigarettes. There you go. Then I'm not a drunk. My soul, my organs are good, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.